viewer discretion is advised. CJ's aunt woke up and the little boy was gone. So we've been on a search ever since then. And the story gets stranger. Sources say another child in the home told police when they showed up that she saw this man, Harold Johnson, taking CJ during the night. This child that told authorities that she saw Cedric Johnson's father leaving the house with Cedric Jackson is lying and was told to say that by Crystal Jackson. Crystal Jackson said that she instructed the other five children to leave as well as Cedric Johnson. So one child stayed behind, the child that was good at lying. When Cedric Johnson told authorities that he had unwrapped the child at around 12.30 and the child threw up, who cleaned up the vomit? He said that the child became unresponsive and he administered CPR. Did nobody else wake up in the house? This was all at around, just say, 1.30. He said he left and went and dumped the child. Should have been around 1.30 that morning. So, from 1.30 that morning till 6 o'clock, what was going on in the home? Cleaning up. Crystal Jackson destroyed evidence and like I say she had from 1.30 to 6 more than enough time to clean up and I am wondering did authorities search the home for DNA evidence blood or whatever her story kept changing the only one whose story that panned out was Cedric Johnson because through his testimony you found a body but Crystal Jackson has told nothing but lies Crystal Jackson is the one that instructed Cedric Johnson to swaddle the infant Crystal Jackson instructed all the other family members to leave the house. Crystal Jackson is the one that called 911. Crystal Jackson is the one that got in front of the cameras and said that they don't know what happened. Oh, it's a sweet baby. Oh, who could do this to this baby? And it's her all alone. This woman is the murderer of her own nephew. Cedric Jackson. I am just really fed up with people like this getting away with murder. People like this get spanks on the wrist. They catch a guy drinking behind a liquor store, he might get 30 years. But a person like this gets away with probation, no time. She is able to walk around, live her life as a free person. But Cedric Jackson's dead. Cedric Jackson's mother's life is basically over. Cedric Jackson's father's life is basically over. No one knows what it feels like to lose a child until you lose a child. It is said that Cedric Jackson's mother gave the child up willingly. Maybe the woman didn't have anywhere to stay and didn't want to drag the child around and felt that it was best that she stay with a relative until she gets on her feet. And CPS, CPS needs to be shut down. It really does. Because there are too many cases where CPS is just fouling up. You, you don't get involved, you should have got involved. When you, when, you, when you do get involved, you shouldn't have got involved. You people just do not have a knack for making good decisions. To put it plainly, you some fuck-ups. 
with Malia Davis, the baby had a crank skull, you took out the home, put it back in the home, the child ended up dead. With Cedric Jackson, you take him out the home, put him in the home with an aunt who has a known child abuser in the home. You don't investigate like you should. There's no excuses. Any other time you investigate thoroughly, but sometimes you don't investigate at all. And when it happens like this, what are these people? What happened to these workers? They might lose their job, get reprimanded, but these persons have, have lost a life that cannot be replaced. So as I say, CPS should be shut completely down and done away with and replaced with something that actually works. And just like with Brittany Bowens, I noticed that these murderers always got some other fat, slappy woman just like them around them trying to protect them and shield them. What the hell is up with that? Crystal Jackson became more tight lipped. They're saying your boyfriend may have been arrested in connection to this crime. Can you I, I, he wouldn't I, do no, this. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. Whomever that woman is, investigate her. She has to be a close friend or something of this woman. All up on her like that. Maybe she knows something about this woman, about her character, about her ab abusive behavior. Drag her in court. That'll break up all this Captain Saver mess that I keep seeing going around here trying to protect a damn child murderer. Look at that left eye squinting. Lips black from smoking weed. This woman is vicious and mean. If I was the CPS worker, I wouldn't care if she did have a man that was a child predator whatever in the house. I wouldn't have gave a charge to this woman just by looks alone. I'm telling y'all, this woman is guilty of aiding and abetting. She cleaned up the evidence back at the house. She gave Cedric Johnson time enough to locate a, a place to dump the body and enough time to get away. Called the authorities, 911, with a bunch of lies that she could not bag up. They brought in the FBI investigators. She got scared then. You want to make black people get scared, bring in the feds. And although the feds were brought in, she still did not give up Cedric Johnson. I guess she's going to prove her loyalty to the end. When I was dating, when I was younger, I really didn't care. I mean, I cared about how you treated me, but what I really looked at was how you treated your family. If you didn't treat your family right or was not in good relations with your family, that was a red flag for me. This woman had six children in her home. The woman don't have no money. What was the oldest child, 10, like six? Where's the money in the house? Who's going to work? They should never have placed that child, Cedric Jackson, in this woman's home. If anyone knows of a child that is a, in a situation that is similar to this. Please call the authorities. And when you call the authorities, get you a pencil and paper and take some names down. So if these people do not do nothing, you will have some names that you can give in to that person's supervisor. Because some heads need to roll. When we call the CPS Child protects her, adult protects whoever want to call. And they come out and pretend that it's, that they see nothing wrong. And then something tragic happens later on. We need to give these people up. Because we told them that something was wrong. They tried to pretend they didn't see it. And what we said happened, happened. And these people need to be held responsible for it. In 
Crystal Jackson's interviews, there are no tears. If I was in charge of my nephew, woke up and my nephew was missing, I would be nervous to death. I won't be able to stand there chilling doing an interview like nothing is wrong. She's making all these faces, but not one tear has dropped out. This woman is a terrible actor, to say the least. Why would she kill her nephew, and why is she fighting so hard to protect Cedric Johnson. Is Cedric Johnson in the game? Has a lot of money. From the looks of Crystal Jackson's lips and teeth, she probably smokes a lot of weed. So maybe Cedric Johnson is a weed man. But every time I look at these Interviews with her, rolling her eyes all up to the sky. No tears coming out of her eyes. And just to show how heartless she is, she's up there doing an interview knowing that her nephew is dead in a dumpster. And she up there making all these ugly faces. She really doesn't have to try that hard. Lying, trying to prove your loyalty to Cedric Johnson. But for what? You are going to prison for the rest of your life. And all I can say is, good. They got your man, Cedric Johnson, locked up. And now you, Chris Jackson, you locked up. I hope you smoke your blunt before you went in because you will never, ever get another. He wouldn't do that! Oh, yes, he did.